Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 23rd, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the support button down here in the corner, the subscribe button down in the corner, I was supposed to say. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF, and as you can see, we are up 0.39% at this current stage, and we're trading right at the 20 exponential moving average right above the uh, middle of the Bollinger Band. And at this current stage, well, it, it momentum is kind of to the, to the upside, even though we have a crossing here of the 50 and 100 moving average, and we'll mostly have another crossing of, uh, of these um, moving averages indicating bearish momentum. Technically, the English MACD is still above the signal line, but in negative territory. RSI is uh, bearish, the CCI is flat, and the stochastic is becoming bullish at this point. So it is uh, not a lot of help with these technical indicators at this point because we could basically break down but we'll find major support down here at the 200 moving average if we rally from here then the 50 moving average up at uh, 128 will also offer massive persistence so we basically need to go either way but at this point we're just stuck here so let's look at dvi so DVI has uh, fallen quite a bit today. We're down nearly 1% and uh, this was also kind of expected. We did rally yesterday and uh, today we were falling back. And it was always always expected for this to fall back towards the 20 uh, or the middle of the bullish band. And we are getting really close to that point. We are no longer significantly overbought as we were previous uh, uh, earlier this week. As MACD, MACD is still bearish but in, in positive territory. Stochastic is bearish and the CCI is bearish, uh, RSI is bearish and CCI is becoming bearish as well. So if the middle of the bullish run breaks, then we could and uh, test this channel here, which is just underneath the uh, middle of the bullish band. Breaking of that could open the door to the very bottom of the bullish band, well, just above the 40 exponential moving average and these are previous lows. And that is down here, give or take at 113. Break below that, well, we have the 50 moving average right underneath. And that, when we tested it over here, this was all the way back in, uh, this was all the way back in the, end of the beginning of February this year. It basically had this massive rally to the upside. So, uh, 50 moving average is definitely an area of massive support. So, rallies from here, we there's a lot of room to the upside. Um, so, yes, but pullbacks at this kind of, at this current stage are kind of expecting after this major rally. So, let's look at BTI. So also here we're down nearly uh, just above uh, half a percent. Uh, technical indicators, they are all turning around. MACD is crossing the signal line, still in bullet territory. CCI is uh, bearish, uh, the RSI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. So pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, that is probably where we'll get the first support. If that breaks, we could head all the way down to the bottom, and that is a massive move of nearly 5% to the downside. But we still have the 20, 40, and the 50 moving average that we have to break in order to get those levels. But it looks like we are pulling back as um, the market is basically pulling back today, mainly due to um, coronavirus fears, as that it, we're going through another phase of, uh, of the coronavirus. So at this point, pullbacks are kind of buying opportunities, but it is kind of going to be a waiting game. So let's look at Sai. So as you can see, we have rallied a little bit. We are just at the 150 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average. Technically, the goodness, they are slowly turning around to the upside, but we have been here before. We saw this rally here and then we just broke down again. Uh, it's not until we basically break the 50 moving average that we are probably gonna get signs that this is gonna go higher. Break of the 100 moving average here opens the door to the 300 moving average. And at this current stage, it's just a complete gamble. So let's look at IVV. So IVV also uh, is down 0.73%. And uh, this was also expected as uh, it was significantly overbought. Technical indicators are all turning around. So we could see this um, past the 20 exponential. That will open the door to the 40. And that's a drop of 1.74%. And the 50 down here at definitely 2.84%. Uh, and that's basically at the bottom of the bullish band. So we could drop to there, considering that we were significantly overbought. And uh, 
basically at the top of this channel and we are also significantly our bot in the RSI. We are at 69 at the current stage, but we were way above that. So here as well, basically a waiting game pullbacks um, have basically been bought into at the 50, 40 and the 20 expansion moving average. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.